Hi, I'm Deb Dedrick, Certified High Performance Coach, New Money Story Mentor, and Team Beachbody Coach, and your Expert Guide to Leading a Happy Life. And this is Nana, my co-host. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by and getting episode number 11, How to Deal with Challenging Situations. I can't believe that it's 11 weeks already. Time has just gone so fast. Well, we wanted to apologize for not being here last oh, week. That's true. why we're filming um, now. We had a challenging life situation came up, a personal one, and we had to take care of it. So we thought we might use that as our topic today on how to deal with challenging life situations. Because Nana would probably be the first one to tell you, you cannot control your life all the way, right, Nana? Oh, that's so true. So true. Mm -hmm. Haven't you had situations in your life that you were not prepared for? Oh my, yes, lots of them. Lots of them. As old as I am now, yes, lots of them. So we're going to start with now how to deal with the challenging situation. So my first thought was, okay, when you're in a situation that you're not prepared for, often it's your first reaction to be become agitated the body has a way of releasing cortisol or adrenaline right into your blood system. It's the fight or flight syndrome. I'm sure you've felt it before, have you? Oh, yes, yes, it's just human nature, human nature. Mm -hmm. Right, and the first thing to do is recognize that that is the state of mind that you're in and learn to manage those states. Do you think that's a tough, tough call, tough thing to do? Sometimes, sometimes it is, but then I don't know. It just depends on the situation and the person that you're dealing with. That's so true. But mm -hmm. in a particularly sticky situation, if you feel like you're being attacked, the best way to handle it is to stay calm. And if you feel that they're attacking to you, you mirror calmness to them. Don't let their excitement or anxiety or stress or whatever they're trying to push on you don't let that in. You control, you manage your states of mind. So if you mirror calmness to these the situations, you'll find that the, the person that you're interacting with often will calm down and their tonal a voice and their, and their timing and everything, it'll, it'll calm down. Yes. Have I, you felt that? Yes. In a really and, and it just depends on who the person is too at times too. You have to be calm and, oh, sometimes take a deep breath and, I don't know, just to consider the situation and just what the problem might be. One of the best words of advice Nana ever gave me was to remember, and this too shall pass. Yes. And yes. every time I've gotten in a sicky situation where I'm getting stressed out and I'm feeling upset, I always try to remember, and this too shall pass, and the moment will pass. Now, if the moment is not passing fast enough and you're feeling really stressed out, it's very, very nice, very easy sometimes, very nice to yourself to take a time out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was always an old saying we used to have to kill them with kindness. Well, that's tough sometimes. It's, it, it is tough, but sometimes, more often than not, just to, for you for to be the first one to say well, you're sorry or take a little time out. and That's a good so. thing. So take a time out. And then the fourth tip was what Nana said. Be the first to say you're sorry. Yes. Yeah. Be the first to say, you know what? You're entitled to your opinion. I'm entitled to my opinion. We don't both have to be wrong. We both don't have to be right. But we can agree to disagree. Yes. It's just human nature to be like that again. As I said, the older one gets, you realize that too. It's important to realize the most important thing in our lives, both personally and professionally, are our relationships. So we're going to go back over really quickly on how to deal with a challenging situation, which is to be aware and pay attention to your states of mind, to mirror calmness back. Yes, yes. yes. If you're feeling attacked, remain calm and excuse yourself from the situation. I've been known sometimes dealing with my child to even just get in my car and drive oh, yes. away. Yes, you I mean, can. Take yes, a, yep. Drive away, go get a cold drink somewhere, let the situation kind of die mm -hmm, down, mm -hmm. the emotions calm, mellow out, 
and then be first to say you're sorry? I think so. I think so. That always works. It did work for me anyhow. And then they have no recompense. Come back. You so say true. you're sorry? Yes. So often to remember to treat others the way we want to be treated. Want to be treated. True, true. So we hope our, t our tip serves you. We hope that it helps you to improve the quality of your life as your expert guides to leading a happy life. We're here to serve you and to help you by giving you tips, tools, and strategies to create a happier life. So until we see you again, go out there and be a positive influence in the world, and God bless. Oh, God bless everybody. Yes. <laughs>